In 2020, Little Rock Central made history, earning a shared state title and donning their first rings in 21 years. In 2021, Central looks to prove they're here to stay as one of the best teams Arkansas has to offer. When you build a monster like that, you got to keep feeding it or, or he gets hungry. So we've got a championship and, and the only thing that, that really fills you up is, is just keep getting more of them, I guess. But it, that's hard. It's hard to do. It's hard to be the best team, but also finish it off with the tournament at the end of the year. And we all know the ex expectations for this year. You know, we all look to win the state championship, but you know, we all also look to get better every game, you know, just keep developing ourselves and each other. Everybody else's mindset towards you changes. You are now on top, you're the hunted one, and you're getting everybody's best shot. In their first conference game, third-ranked Central went across the river to upset top-ranked North Little Rock 80-73, improving to 10-3 on the year and solidifying themselves as one of the state's very best. It's a great win anytime you can beat them because of their history and how good they've been. And, you know, really, it means we're 1-0 in conference. I woke up that morning, you uh, know, felt a little different. But, you know, they just tell me, you know, you got to think about another game. But, you know, we all know it was more than just a game. A big boost to this year's Tigers is transfer guard Bryson Warren, the standout sophomore with offers from colleges all around the country, including Arkansas. Starting for the Tigers from the get-go, Warren looks to make an immediate impact. He's been amazing, really, from day one. Uh, he's, he's averaging somewhere around 23, 24 points a game now. Uh, he's had several games, six, eight, nine assists. Um, his rebounding has been really good uh, from the point guard spot. And just using his speed, using his quickness, using his intelligence. And, you know, he, he's really been an all-around point guard. He's great on the defensive end. So... Um, couldn't be happier with the way he's playing. You know, this year I feel like you know, I got a little taller, you know, a little bigger. And I feel like um, I'm able to come off, um, I'm having the ball more, uh, get more of my teammates involved, you know, being the point guard for my team, getting everybody involved, and, you know, definitely getting to the free throw line where, you know, that was a big focus for this year. I feel like, you know, I'm getting better, and now I feel like I'm trying to help my teammates get better so we can get better every game and get a good run at state. He's got a great work ethic, and, and you know, he, he never stops training when he's here. He, you know, we got basketball practice here, and then he's probably leaving here tonight. and Got a workout tonight, I'm sure, and he'll have one tomorrow again before school. So he's got a great work ethic. That's where he's developed his quickness, his speed, uh, his skills, and, you um, you know, and just his mind for the game, he's, he sees the floor really well. He can, he can not only get by his man, he sees what's behind it and, and can make the right play when he gets past that first guy. Nick Walters, Fox 16.